Hi everyone and welcome to my next video tutorial which is going to be focused on customizing the Django admin via the Django semantic UI admin theme. So this is a new semantic UI that you can utilize for integrating within your Django admin and I'm going to show you how to set it up. It's really quite straightforward but let's go through the process. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to have a simple Django project. It can be any project that you have. It can be very basic and simple. So that's the first thing you need to have into place. The next thing that you can do is go ahead and install this package. So it's known as Django Semantic Admin. So I'm going to copy that. Um, let me head on over to my terminal and I'm just going to clear this up. And in my virtual environment, I want to install Django Semantic uh, Admin and install that as follows. There we go. So make sure you've got that installed and set up and ready to go. Once you've installed that, you also want to install the Django filter package as well. And the reason for this is the Django semantic uh, admin UI theme has filters that are also part of it as well. So we want to also install this package in conjunction with it. So let's go ahead and do just that. So you just want to say pip install Django filter. There we go. Let's clear that up. And we've got both of those packages installed. So make sure you've installed both of them. Now what we can do is scroll down and you can see here a brief overview of what that semantic UI admin theme is going to look like. And we can also see how we can utilize it. So as you can see here, when we install this Django semantic admin, it's going to install semantic admin and semantic forms. And that's also a reason for why we needed to install Django filter so we can utilize this semantic form as well that's into place. So we can scroll down and see where we need to position it. So we need to add in semantic admin and semantic forms just before the django.contrib.admin uh, default uh, app here. So let's go ahead and copy these two here. Then you can head on over to your project and let me go to my settings.py file and you want to head to your list of installed apps here and you can just add it right at the top. So it will be at the top because the first default app usually is um, django.contrib.admin. So you wanna make sure irrespective of where you put it in that you put it above this django.contrib.admin. Okay, very important that you have that set and into place. Once you've done that, you can go ahead and open up your command prompt and to access the Django admin page fully, we need to create a super user. So we can say python manage.py create super user. And let's call this order uh, two. I'm going to leave the email blank. I'm going to enter in a password. And again, there you go. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and run my server. And then I want to access my uh, default admin page and take a look at the theme that I've created. There we go. So let's head on over to my Django admin page. So at your local host forward slash admin. And there we go, we can now see we have a new theme here, which is known as the semantic UI theme. Very rich and very clean. So let's go ahead and log in with our credentials. Right, so as soon as you've entered in your credentials, you can proceed to log in to the Django admin. And here we go, we can now see we've got that all set up and into place. So it looks quite clean. We also have a menu here as well, which is adjusted, but that's also going to depend on how zoomed in we are. So if you're zoomed in, it's going to format to a menu option here where you can now see what you have. You can see, for example, the apps that you have set up. So here I have authentication, authorization. I can see a nice welcome message to the user. I can go to view my site can change my password and I can log out. So very, very fancy here. So let's move on to the default. It's going to have the following. So here I can see I have my default app, so authentication, authorization, my user model, my group model. And let's say I want to create a new user. I can just say add. And that's gonna go through the setup wizard here for adding in a new user. So you can see it's got some nice bootstrap style font in here. So the semantic UI is very rich here in terms of texture and design and then you can enter in the required fields and save it. You can go back to our user model. And what you can also do here is of course, as you can see here, you can filter accordingly here as you so desire, according to the users, if they are uh, set to staff, if their super user status is a yes or no, and if that particular user is active. And you can see here, we have a nice big and rich table here showing all of the users that are part of our Django application, their staff status, first name, last name, email. But it's a lot cleaner and a lot more straight to the point as other, as the default um, Django admin UI, should I rather say. So you can see it's a lot cleaner and more concise. 
You can also go ahead and change a model, for example. And as you can see here, that's going to head on over to the following filter here that we have. And we can also head on back to add a user and we can add that all into place. All right, so that's it guys for this video tutorial. So it was quite um, simple, but straight to the point on how you can integrate the Django semantic admin UI to your Django admin, which is a new and extra option that you can integrate just to make your Django admin a bit nicer. Now I know we've covered Jasmine, we've covered Baton, but now we've already gone ahead and covered semantic admin as well. So that's it guys. And as always, thank you for support and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.